the current food system is not a food system. Food is that which nourishes us. Today's food system is killing the planet. It's responsible for 50% of the greenhouse gas emissions, 75% of the destruction of soil, water, 90% of the biodiversity of crops have gone. 75% chronic diseases because of this system. It uses most of the land to produce 30% of bad food. The current non-food system or anti-food system of industrial farming is not just fragile, it is on the brink of collapse. It is first bringing the planet itself to collapse. I think the first thing we have to do to create food sovereignty and create local organic food systems is reclaim the cycles of food production. The first cycles are the cycles of water, the cycles of nutrition. This can only happen when we get back to the earth. We have to change the definition of labor. Labor as terms of creating new life through our care and our love. But that means that labor is not an input. Labor is the creative force of a local food system. And that creative force of a local food system can produce and is producing more. In Navdanya, we built economies of biodiversity. We have to shift from yield per acre to nutrition per acre. And we can produce more food, more nourishment, more work. Creative work has to be an outcome of a food sovereignty movement. My wish is my responsibility is my duty, that we should not allow extinction to happen. Therefore, we should not allow an industrial agriculture model that is pushing extinction to continue to unfold. It is possible to become systems of interconnected small production of gardens, of farmers. For this decade, which is the window we've been given by all scientific predictions, we've created a decade of poison-free transition. Give up every poison in food and farming. For me, sovereignty is about freedom and self-organization. Begins with the ability to have sovereign minds. That is true freedom. That is true independence.